Hey guys, it's Belle. So I am back with another Moon's Harvest bath bomb demo and review. So Canada Kim voted for black raspberry vanilla. So thank you so much for voting. I'm really excited to see what this one does. This is a baby bomb. It's four and a half ounces and it smells really, really nice just through the wrapper. So I can't wait to take the plastic off and really get a good smell of this one. Um, so let's go ahead and get it in the tub and we'll see how it does. So here is the black raspberry vanilla bath bomb all unwrapped. It has some really pretty pink and black sugar. It's kind of a literal interpretation of the scent description with the plain um, sort of like vanilla colored bath bomb with then the black and raspberry colored sugar on top. So when I put this in the water, I don't expect it to obviously be any sort of color. So um, I really don't think that that sugar has enough um, coloration to really change the water. But let's go ahead and see what it does. I still want to see how foamy it gets and um, how the scent performs when it dissolves. I can tell you that just straight out of the packaging, it smells exactly the same. It's really not any stronger, which is definitely... Um, a surprise for me. I thought it would be a lot stronger because it was pretty fragrant in the plastic, but it really smells similar. So let's see how it does in the water. I hope it doesn't completely disappear here. So let's go ahead and put it in. So it has some good foaming action there. Let's see if I can follow it around. hanging out in this corner here. So it does have like a um, very soft like raspberry vanilla fragrance, but it's not as strong as I really thought it, it would be. I thought it would be a lot stronger. This one definitely has a lot of movement compared to some of the other ones. And the scent's just still not really that strong. So it's finishing up. You can see just a little bit of that sugar kind of left a little pink color there. But um, the water is still just its normal color. So it's practically all done. And that is what it looks like. A really good amount of foam, I think, for being one of the baby bombs. But the scent has kind of disappeared. It's really not a strong one. Okay, you guys, I'm being honest here. The Black Raspberry Vanilla Bath Bomb is very, very lightly scented. It's primarily a raspberry scent. I don't really get a whole lot of vanilla. And the water is clear, so I'm a little bit, you know, I don't know, I kind of want something a little bit more exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of this bubble bar in there. This is the Shark Attack Bubble Bar from Moon's Harvest. Um, this is still available for purchase. I will link it below, but I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that in my bath because Shark Attack is a blackberry scent and then it has a little bit of like um, sage notes to it. So it is still like along the berry line. So I think it will go really, really well with the raspberry bath bomb. So let me go ahead and put this in the water and I'll show you. by adding the bubble bar I got a good amount of bubbles and um, I got the water into this really pretty light pink shade so that is more like it I didn't use a whole bubble bar so let me show you I just broke off um, the corner edges it's kind of like a half circle shape so I broke off the two sides like the little corners um, just to kind of intensify that berry scent that the black raspberry vanilla uh, uh, bath bomb had so by adding the bubble bar it added a little bit more fragrance and then the color I was looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my bath and I'll give you my thoughts when I'm all done. So okay you guys so I'm all done with my bath and here are my thoughts on the products that I used. So I will go ahead and just give you the feedback on the bubble bar since you can see the wrapper right here. The Shark Attack bubble bar. I really liked it. The scent was so nice. It had that beautiful blackberry kind of fragrance. The color of the water actually was a lot deeper than I mentioned initially. When I was showing you guys the bubbles, I thought the water was like a lighter pink shade. But once all those bubbles popped, the water was actually a pretty deep, almost like slightly reddish pink 
slightly purple kind of shade. And so I can kind of see where they're going with the shark attack theme because the water honestly, I don't know, in a nice more lighthearted way kind of resembled what a shark attack water might look like. Um, maybe I'm reading into that a little too much, probably. But anyway, uh, the scent was great. The bubbles were great. Just for using those like corner chunks, I really got a good output of bubbles. Um, but once they did pop, you could really see that color. And the color was great. It really was what I was hoping for. The Black Raspberry Vanilla Bath Bomb really disappointed me because when I took the plastic off, the scent didn't really get any stronger, and once it was in the water, it was so incredibly light. Um, as I had mentioned before, what really stood out was more of the raspberry fragrance, not so much the vanilla. So by adding the Shark Attack, it really did kind of add more of a berry fragrance. So um, for that reason, you know, I wouldn't recommend Black Raspberry Vanilla on its own. I don't even think you can buy it right now individually. Um, but I just wouldn't recommend it. If you ever do see it come out or something like that in the future, I would probably skip that one. Um, Shark Attack, I absolutely can recommend for the bubble bar. It was great. Um, just throwing this in here too, since I can't show you in my empties, because I was kind of going with a berry theme today, I finished up from Lush my miniature uh, trial size that I got in a gift set of the Strawberry Feels Forever. That's a solid moisturizer. Um, so I used that up, and so it kind of just completed the story of my berry-themed bath today. So, yeah, it's really nice and smells really good. And also, this is my stash of all of my bubble bars and bath bombs. As you can see, I got this container at the Dollar Tree, and I really love it to keep everything in here. It just really works for me. Um, so if you see one of these containers, go ahead and grab one for a dollar. They work really great to store these things. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just choose one for next time on my own. I hope you guys are okay with that. The reason being is that because the weather just keeps changing, there's hotter days, cooler days. So I might go for more of a summer scent or more of a fall scent for the next bath depending on how the day is. So um, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!